welcome back to Let's Cook That. Today, we'll be making some easy and delicious taquitos. I know a lot of you guys know them by flautas as well. They could, you know, flautas or taquitos are the same thing. And these are very easy because you don't even have to cook the chicken. I'm going to show you in our ingredients what kind of chicken I'm using, you guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on the little bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video and you could become part of our family as well. So now let's get started with those ingredients. Okay, you guys, so I have some roasted chicken. So this was leftover chicken. I shredded it, and that's what we're going to use for our taquitos. So if you have any extra chicken or you want to go buy a chicken at the store, a rastrissery chicken, you have extras, perfect for the taquitos. And, of course, we have some oil. I have black pepper and garlic just because I want to add a little bit of extra flavor, but this chicken already has an amazing flavor. We have our corn tortillas, and I do recommend to use the white corn tortillas because if you use the yellow ones, they don't get as crispy as the white ones. And we have some chopped onion and chopped tomato. So now let's get started. Okay, so I preheated the skillet with a little bit of oil, maybe like a tablespoon. And let's go ahead and add our onion. Let's saute for like a minute. Now let's add our chicken. And I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder, just I like garlic powder. But all this is optional, the onion is optional, tomatoes, you can just go straight to your chicken after you shred it. Let's add the tomato and we'll let this cook for like three minutes just so the tomato can get nice and soft. So once your tomato is nice and soft and well incorporated, you can go ahead and turn it off and let's go warm up our tortillas. Okay, so once your tortillas are nice and warm, remember there's always two sides of your tortilla. So the side that looks more thin, it's the one that's gonna go inside because if you roll them up the wrong way, they can start cracking. So always make sure, let me show you once from here in the middle. Always make sure you use the, the thinner side and not this side. So you can see it, when even when you're warming them up, you can see which side looks thinner. So let's go ahead and start filling our tortilla with our chicken. You don't need a lot and start rolling up and there's no need to use um toothpicks so just roll them and this side let's flip um flat down and then when we fry them you're going to do the same thing and if you don't want to fry them you can actually see this is a thicker part and this one you can see it's more wrinkly so it's the inside part if you don't want to fry them you can also um put them in your air fryer just spray a little bit of that cooking spray and make sure you use a tray to flatten them down or else they will open. I did some tacos one time on the air fryer and I forgot to put the little tray that comes with it and they open, so yes. Alrighty, so once you're done rolling, if you're not gonna um, fry them all at once, like I'm not gonna fry them all at once because I'm waiting for my husband my, and my son to get home, what I'm gonna do is um, put them in a Ziploc bag, just the same way you put them on the plate, or you could cover your plate with saran wrap, just so your tortilla doesn't get hard. So I'm gonna just seal this, I close it up. If it's hot, don't put it in the refrigerator. If they're cool already, you could place them in the refrigerator and then fry them as you go. So right now I'm just gonna do these for, we could use it for a thumbnail. I preheated a skillet with oil. You don't need too much, but it's up to you. A lot of people like to like put a lot of it. So remember the part, the little part that's gonna be folded like this, put it face down. Sometimes you could probably hold it a little bit just so it could like seal. And then we'll do the same thing with the rest. So once they've been from this side for about a minute or how crispy you want it, let's go ahead and start flipping it.
If they start opening, that means they're not sealed right, so you could just put it back. So once they're crispy to your liking, remove them, and I place them on paper towel for the um, excess of oil. And then we just continue frying, but this is the only thing I'm gonna fry for right now. And that's it, you guys. Enjoy with your favorite toppings. It can be lettuce, sour cream, queso fresco, queso cotija, your favorite salsa, guacamole. Enjoy it your way. And these are delicious, you guys, and the salsa that I'm using, I will leave it at the end of this video. You could just click on it, and it'll take you straight to the salsa that I used with it. This is the one I cook. So let's go ahead and taste it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good, you guys. Delicious. These are very delicious, you guys, and very simple. If you're in a rush, you can just stop and buy a chicken that's already cooked, or if you have any leftover chicken, don't put it to waste. Convert them into some taquitos, and they're very easy to make and very delicious, you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. Leave your comments down below, and turn on that little bell so you can get notified every time we upload a new video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Cook.